While ice covers only a little percentage of the Earth's surface, it hides many amazing discoveries beneath its frozen crust. Some of these discoveries can be so thrilling that it enlightens scientists and the public about lost periods and mysteries that are far-fetched. However, others are the results of unfortunate incidents that were unavoidable or unintentional. Humans are naturally curious, and this nature drives continuous exploration. Some of the things lost in ice are now being recovered. From a deadly disease to highly toxic substances that are best left unraveled and lost in history, join us as we go through 20 of the most incredible ones. Number 20. Boxes of Whiskey In 2010, a fascinating discovery was made off the north coast of Antarctica at Cape Roids. Conservationists exploring the area found three cases of whiskey under an old abandoned cabin. This type of find was quite unexpected in such a harsh and inhospitable environment. What made it even more intriguing was the history of the cabin. This old cabin used to be the base camp of the renowned explorer Ernest Shackleton over a hundred years earlier, back in 1907. Shackleton led an expedition in search of the South Pole and used that very hut as a base camp for their journey. Now the mystery was who put the whiskey there. The most popular theory is that Shackleton himself stashed the bottles before embarking on his expedition, hoping for a grand celebration upon their victorious return. But as fate would have it, they didn't reach the South Pole as planned, so there was nothing to celebrate. Even more astonishingly, the whiskey was found in liquid form after being exposed to those extreme Antarctic conditions for over a century. This is because it had a high alcohol content of 47.3, which prevented it from freezing. The alcohol's ethanol also has a remarkably low freezing point of minus 173 degrees Fahrenheit, making it quite resistant to the icy chill. After being displayed at the Canterbury Museum in New Zealand, the whiskey bottles were returned to Shackleton's hut at Cape Royds in 2013. They serve as a unique reminder of the past and the adventurous spirit of those who explored the frozen wilderness. Number 19. Fruitcake in Antarctica Conservators from the Antarctic Heritage Trust made an incredible discovery in Antarctica in 2017. They found a century-old fruitcake in one of the oldest buildings on the continent. The fruitcake was left behind by early explorers, and amazingly, it was still in pretty good condition, wrapped in a tin container. The discovery of this cake was quite surprising, since it's not every day you come across a dessert that's been preserved for a hundred years in the freezing cold of Antarctica. It's a fascinating glimpse into the history of Antarctic exploration and the kind of food people carried with them during those early expeditions. Though the fruitcake looked and smelled edible, it's unlikely that anyone would dare to try it. Nobody was reported to have tasted it. After all, who knows what kind of taste and texture a century-old cake would have? It was, however, undoubtedly a unique and remarkable find. Number 18. A Buried Aircraft During World War II in 1942, the United States was busy deploying troops and equipment to Britain for the Allied invasion of Europe as a part of Operation Bolero. They had to fly hundreds of planes across the Atlantic, but not all of them made it. Six P-38 fighter jets had to make an emergency landing on a Greenland ice sheet due to bad weather. Unfortunately, the jets got buried under more than 260 feet of snow and ice and remained forgotten for decades. Later in 1988, though, the Greenland Expedition Society set out to find these lost planes. It was a challenging task, but they used ground-penetrating radar and a thermal fusion generator to drill a 260-foot deep hole in the ice. Finally, they managed to reach one of the P-38s, which they called Glacier Girl. The recovery process was also tedious. The aircraft had to be disassembled piece by piece before it could be returned to the U.S. After months of hard work, all the parts of Glacier Girl were recovered and it made an incredible comeback gearing back to life. You can now see the fighter jet flying high in the sky at air shows across the country. Number 17. Frozen Wall of Fish This photograph was taken by Kelly Preheim on his visit to Lake Andes National Wildlife Refuge in 2015. You can see a four-foot-tall wall of frozen fish, upright and seemingly caught in mid-jump out of the water. This is a quite puzzling sight at first glance, as no place on Earth is that cold to freeze a whole wave instantly. 
However, after further research, the reason behind the wall of frozen fish was unearthed, and it's a sad occurrence. When the lake freezes, its surface gets covered with thick, cloudy ice, blocking the sunlight. This means the plants in the water can't photosynthesize and produce oxygen. As a result, there's a lack of oxygen in the water, and the fish in the lake tragically perish and float to the surface. To explain how they were found upright, the climate could have taken an even colder turn, and the ice expanded, pushing towards the shore and buckling. This would have caused the fish to spread out vertically, and that's what they did. Strong winds might have also played a role, pushing the frozen fish further and creating that four-foot-tall wall. Though it's a somber sight, it wasn't bad news for everyone. The frozen fish became a feast for hungry eagles and seagulls, turning it into a natural spectacle. Number 16. The Otzi Man Otzi is the nickname given to an ancient human corpse that was discovered in 1991 high in the Otztal Alps, on the border between Austria and Italy. It was accidentally found by two hikers, Erica and Simon Hull, while they were hiking a remote glacier. At first, they thought it was a lost mountaineer, but it turned out to be something more extraordinary. This fascinating discovery offers a unique glimpse into life during the Copper Age, approximately 5,300 years ago. The perfectly preserved body, along with its clothing, tools, and last meals, has provided researchers with invaluable insights into the prehistoric world. The level of preservation is exceptionally rare in archaeological contexts, and it has allowed scientists to study various aspects of Otzi's life, such as his diet, health, and living conditions. It's truly one of the most mysterious and captivating discoveries in ice. Number 15. Tunic of Lendbreen The Tunic of Lendbreen is an incredible archaeological find discovered in 2011. It was found during an expedition to explore the Lendbreen Ice Patch, located in the UTNE Hyman Mountain Range. This well-preserved tunic is made of woven wool and adorned with reindeer skin trim. However, what's truly remarkable about it is that it dates back to the Viking Age, making it over a thousand years old. The icy conditions of the Lendbreen Ice Patch acted as a natural preservation chamber, protecting the tunic so well that it retained its original colors and textures. The discovery of the Lendbreen tunic provides valuable insights into Viking clothing and daily life. It offered researchers and history enthusiasts a tangible connection to the past, allowing us to learn more about the culture and lifestyle of the people who lived during that time. The tunic's significance goes beyond its age and craftsmanship, though. It also highlights the challenges and resilience of our ancestors, who navigated through unforgiving terrains and extreme weather conditions in mountainous regions. Number 14. Fossil of an Ichthyosaur An incredible discovery was made in 2009 when paleontologists found well-preserved fossils of an ichthyosaur in the Tyndall Glacier in southern Chile. These ancient marine reptiles lived about 250 million years ago, making them way older than even the oldest T-Rex. The ichthyosaur was about 10 feet long and had a unique appearance, with a plump body, beautiful eyes, and a dolphin-like muzzle. It's, however, fascinating how it ended up in the glacier. Experts believe a turbidity current, a rapid downward flow of water caused by earthquakes or collapsing sea slopes, might have been the cause. The ichthyosaur could have been caught by this chaotic current and dumped into an open chasm where it was buried in sediments without oxygen. This unusual condition led to its exceptional preservation, and thanks to this remarkable find, scientists now have a better understanding of the ancient marine reptiles and even their embryonic development. Number 13. Millions of Frozen Insects in 1898, the American explorer James Campbell made a fascinating discovery while hiking along a glacier in Wyoming, USA. He stumbled upon a frozen grasshopper sticking out of the ice. This may not seem like an unusual find, but it quickly turned into something even more astonishing as Campbell dug deeper into the ice. He found more and more grasshoppers emerging from the glacier. In fact, there were tens of millions of them entombed in the mile-long glacier and other nearby glaciers, it was like an insect treasure trove frozen in time. This discovery made people wonder how the grasshoppers got frozen, and they were not just ordinary grasshoppers. They were Rocky Mountain locusts, a species that used to migrate in enormous swarms across America's Rocky Mountains. Sadly, a severe winter storm led to their demise as they crashed into the glacier and became entombed in ice. 
Although the Rocky Mountain locusts are now extinct, their frozen remains have been a valuable discovery for scientists. It offers a unique opportunity to study and learn more about these ancient insects and their past migration patterns. Number 12. Green Icebergs Green icebergs are a fascinating natural phenomenon found only in Antarctica. The reason behind their existence has been a mystery for a while since icebergs are known to be usually white or blue. It was, however, discovered that the green coloration of these icebergs is primarily caused by the presence of certain minerals, organic matter, and sometimes even algae within the ice. Additionally, the color may also be influenced by the presence of rust particles in the ice. It could also be caused by the combination of the bubble-free icebergs jutting into the Southern Ocean and the ground-up yellow-red glacial dust from Antarctica's bedrock. These factors combined create the unique green hue that we sometimes see in the icebergs. Scientists study these green icebergs to gain valuable insights into the health of our oceans and to understand the various processes and natural factors affecting the Earth's icy regions. It's truly a remarkable natural occurrence that highlights the complexity and diversity of our planet's ecosystems. Number 11. Ningen the Ningen is a mysterious cryptid supposedly spotted in the icy waters of Antarctica and South Asia. People describe it as a massive creature standing 65 to 98 feet, like a huge, fat, whale-like being with a smooth, pale form that vaguely resembles a human's head, torso, and limbs. This is why it's called Ningen, which means human in Japanese. It's also known to be completely white. The sightings of this creature vary. Some say it has a mermaid tail, while others claim it has five-fingered human-like appendages. Its face, however, remains quite mysterious, with only huge piercing eyes and a mouth-shaped slit being reported. These extraordinary beings are believed to roam the Pacific, Antarctic, and Atlantic Oceans, thriving in the freezing Arctic waters. What's even more surprising is that many accounts suggest they're primarily active during the night, making it harder to be captured properly. When a group of people on a ship reported seeing it, they initially thought it was a submarine. However, when they got closer, it turned out to be this enigmatic creature, living and breathing, and then it immediately disappeared back into the depths of the ocean. It's really fascinating because stories of the Ningen like this emerged in the latter part of the 20th century. It makes you wonder why sailors who have been crossing oceans for centuries earlier never noticed these colossal entities before. Number 10. The Ghost of Lenin Back in 1957, during the height of the Soviet Union's influence, a polar exploration team embarked on an ambitious mission to establish a presence in Antarctica. As part of this effort, they erected a statue of Vladimir Lenin at their Bellinghausen Research Station, located on King George Island near the Atlantic Peninsula. The Lenin statue was placed to face the direction of Moscow, and it served as a symbol of the Soviet Union's scientific and territorial achievements during the space race and the Cold War. Even after the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991, the statue endured, and it became a silent witness to the changing world order and the passage of time. It's quite fascinating to think that a statue of such historical significance still stands in such a remote and icy location on our planet. However, not many people venture in to see it because it's far out in the cold near the South Pole. Number 9. Carcass of a Woolly Rhino A fascinating discovery was made in Siberia, Russia in 2021. Alexei Savin was out for a walk, enjoying the snowy landscape, when he spotted something peculiar sticking out of the frozen permafrost. At first he thought it was a rock, but upon closer inspection he realized the find was the carcass of a young rhino. What's even more surprising is that this rhino was unlike any other we know. It turned out to be a woolly rhino, an extinct cousin of modern rhinos that lived on Earth between 5 million and 11,700 years ago. These creatures were colossal, reaching up to 13 feet in length and weighing as much as 2.2 tons. The discovery of this woolly rhino, nicknamed Simon, is exceptional because it is one of the best-preserved examples of an extinct Ice Age mammal ever found. Much of the rhino's soft tissue, hooves, fur, and even teeth were still visible. Researchers believe that the rhino likely drowned, and his well-preserved condition provides valuable insights into the life of this prehistoric beast. 
Wear marks on the rhino's horn also suggest it used its bony protrusion to scrape through snow and ice, accessing vegetation below. The feature shows us how these incredible creatures lived and survived in their frozen environment. The discovery of the woolly rhino is a thrilling moment for paleontologists and offers a unique opportunity to learn more about the ancient world and the creatures that once roamed our planet. Number 8. Human Remains and Ammunition There have been some fascinating discoveries made related to the White War during World War I in the Italian Alps. The White War was a smaller battle between Italian and Austro-Hungarian troops that took place during the period from 1915 to 1918. However, the conditions in the Alps were even more challenging than the front lines. Soldiers had to battle at altitudes up to 12,000 feet, where temperatures dropped as low as minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit. As the ice in the region melted over the years due to rising temperatures, researchers have been able to access previously hidden areas and uncover long-forgotten artifacts. In 2021, they excavated a previously inaccessible barracks atop the Alps that was used as a shelter for Austrian soldiers. Inside, they found a variety of items, including ammunition, animal skin jackets, straw mattresses, and even ladles made from tin cans. It was an incredible discovery showing us how soldiers survived in such harsh conditions with limited resources. However, along with these fascinating finds, there have also been some more somber discoveries. In 2012, the mummified remains of two Austrian soldiers were uncovered, and more recently, over 80 dead bodies emerged from the melting mountain. Most of these soldiers were not victims of enemy gunfire, but died from hypothermia and avalanches. It's a sobering reminder of the hardships and dangers faced by soldiers during the White War in the unforgiving and frozen terrain of the Italian Alps. Number 7. Tons of Toxic Mercury Recently, there was a shocking discovery of tons of toxic mercury found deep within the melting permafrost of the Arctic. This discovery sent shockwaves through the scientific community, and it's raising serious concerns about the delicate balance of the Arctic ecosystem. Researchers found a staggering 56 million liters, or 15 million gallons of mercury in the permafrost. This makes it the largest reservoir of mercury on Earth for thousands of years, nearly twice as much as all the soils outside of the northern permafrost, the ocean, and the atmosphere combined. Mercury is a natural element found in the Earth's crust, and it usually gets into the atmosphere through volcanic eruptions. It happens like a cycle going back and forth between the atmosphere and the ocean. The currents and winds have deposited this toxic substance into the permafrost, and now it's at risk of being released into the ground when the ice thaws. When this happens, it is taken up by plants and bacteria and eventually finds its way into the water and the atmosphere. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching because mercury has a dangerous tendency to accumulate in fish and animals. This means it poses a direct threat to human health if consumed through contaminated food sources. Scientists are still trying to figure out when and how much mercury might be released into the food chain. But one thing is clear. This environmental disaster will have global repercussions. Number 6. Ancient Lunchbox An ancient lunchbox was found in the Swiss Alps and it has provided researchers with valuable insights into the lives of people who lived over 3,500 years ago. When the ice on the mountain summit began to melt, archaeologists made an extraordinary discovery of a wooden container that turned out to be someone's lunchbox from ancient times. This lunchbox gave researchers a peek into the diet and lifestyle of our ancestors when they used a technique usually used for ceramics to check it out. Chemical analysis of the container revealed faint traces of grains like wheat and rye, suggesting it might have once held hearty whole grain porridge. An even more remarkable observation is that organic materials like barrels and boxes aren't typically preserved throughout history. But thanks to the unique conditions in the Swiss Alps, they've managed to preserve some incredible relics. Now with advanced technology, archaeologists can analyze food and drink residues left in ancient pots, giving us a deeper understanding of our agricultural ancestors. Now it's time for today's subscribers to pick for today. Look at this large, hairy beast. It's staying in such a rigid position we assume it must have been recovered from ice.
We heard that this beast is called a yeti by some because it resembles a human and a bear, and it's also supposed to live in the highest part of the Himalayas. However, we're in a tight spot as we cannot decipher what it's doing in this place or how it got there. Could it have been discovered by some people who then decided to dump it? And what if it's not even a yeti, as some have claimed? If you have any idea what the creature is and how it might have gotten where it is, don't hesitate to tell us in the comment section. Number 5. Fukushima's Ice Wall The Fukushima Ice Wall is a notable engineering project implemented at the Fukushima Daiichi Nuclear Power Plant in Japan after the devastating nuclear accident that occurred in March 2011 due to an earthquake and tsunami. Following the accident, several reactors experienced meltdowns, leading to the release of radioactive materials into the environment. One of the challenges that arose with this was the continuous flow of groundwater becoming contaminated as it passed through the reactor buildings and the surrounding soil. To address this issue, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, the organization that operates the Fukushima Daiichi plant, devised a plan to build an underground ice wall the concept behind it was to freeze the ground around the reactor buildings, creating a barrier to block the flow of groundwater and prevent it from becoming contaminated with radioactive materials. Construction of the ice wall began in 2014 and involved drilling a series of vertical holes and pipes into the ground. A coolant was then circulated through the pipes to freeze the surrounding ground, forming the ice barrier. The completion of the frozen wall around the reactors happened in 2016, and it has been operational ever since. This construction has significantly reduced the influx of contaminated groundwater into the plant, helping to mitigate the environmental impacts of the nuclear accident. However, the project received some skepticism and criticism regarding its effectiveness in the long term. Number 4. Larsen B. This large expanse of ice is located on the Antarctic Peninsula covering an area about the size of Rhode Island, over 1,200 square miles. Naturally, the Larsen Ice Shelf is like a bunch of shelves lined up along the coast, each with its unique name. There is Larsen A, which is the smallest, then Larsen B, and the biggest one is Larsen C moving down south. You can find even smaller ones like Larsen D, and so on. Unfortunately, due to the changing climate and the forces of nature, the Larsen B ice shelf experienced a catastrophic event in 2002. It dramatically disintegrated within a few weeks, leading to huge chunks of ice, some as big as small countries, breaking off and falling into the ocean. This event served as a wake-up call for many, highlighting the impact of climate change on our planet's ice shelves and glaciers. The collapse of the ice shelf resulted in the loss of more than 1,000 square miles of its frozen surface and contributed to accelerated sea level rise. Number 3. Ice 7 Ice 7 is a unique form of high-pressure ice that exists under extreme conditions. Unlike the ice we commonly encounter, which is Ice 1, Ice 7 forms under pressures approximately 3,000 times greater than atmospheric pressure at sea level. This extraordinary ice type can be found deep within the Earth's core, hidden in massive icebergs and in frozen regions that are inaccessible to the human eye. Under such immense pressure, water molecules rearrange themselves into a distinct crystalline structure, giving rise to Ice 7. The discovery of this type of ice is fascinating for scientists because it offers valuable insights into the physical properties of matter under extreme conditions. It challenges our understanding of ice and presents opportunities for breakthroughs in various scientific fields, including geology, astrophysics, and materials sciences. By studying Ice 7, researchers can gain a deeper understanding of distant planets' cores, the moons in our solar system, and even the birth of stars. The implications of this discovery are vast, and it could lead to exciting technological advancements and a greater understanding of the history and future of our universe. Number 2. Rhone Glacier's Blankets The Rhone Glacier's Blankets are an innovative effort to protect the majestic Rhone Glacier from the impacts of global warming. In 2002, a group of people near the 12,000-foot-high glacier took matters into their own hands to preserve the ice from melting further. They created special UV-resistant blankets that they lovingly placed over the vulnerable parts of the glacier. These blankets act as effective protectants, reducing the melting of the glacier by an impressive 50 to 70 percent. 
This annual initiative, known as the Glacier Pilgrimage, is a powerful response to the ongoing threat of climate change. The Rhone Glacier is vital to the surrounding villages, providing scenic trails and impressive ice caves that boost the region's economy. By protecting the glacier, the residents are preserving its pristine nature and vital water resources. With the relentless impacts of global warming causing a growing lake fed by meltwater, these blankets of hope bring a glimmer of optimism. They represent human ingenuity and determination in the face of environmental challenges, demonstrating that small actions can make a significant difference in protecting our natural treasures. Number 1. Anthrax Disease In Siberia during the hot summer of 2016, a terrifying incident occurred. As the rising temperatures caused the permafrost in the region to thaw, a deadly disease called anthrax was released from the ice. It turned out that in the early 20th century, anthrax outbreaks had caused the deaths of more than a million reindeer in Siberia. The dead reindeer were buried, but the super-hard permafrost made it impossible to dig deep graves. So the anthrax bacteria remained alive and preserved in the frozen ground. When the permafrost melted during that unusually hot summer, the anthrax-infected carcasses were exposed. Reindeers that grazed on them got infected, and the disease quickly spread to humans who came in contact with the reindeer. Anthrax is a bacterial disease that can cause severe symptoms, ranging from fever and headaches to black skin ulcers, vomiting, and even death. It's a dangerous disease, and without prompt treatment, survival rates for those who inhale anthrax spores are very low. Luckily, a large-scale reindeer vaccination program helped contain the outbreak and prevent it from getting worse. It's a stark reminder that even in the frozen depths of the permafrost, dangerous pathogens can lie dormant and pose risks to both wildlife and humans when released. Now we see that in the frozen world, we can find the good, the bad, and the ugly. As much as intriguing discoveries have been made, there are also terrifying ones that make us wonder what else the ice may be hiding. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.